All right, we're on. Yep. Breaking news here, uh, live from Boom Use Campus Party. Right here, by the way, is the old Boomer Theater. And if you could see it, you would see that the only thing that's lit up is Boom, B-O-O-M. And this is uh, Energy Boom 101, and it's a shameless promotion, by the way, for this lovely rag that makes an excellent birdcage liner called the Boom. It's the second dispatch from the patch. It's hitting the street in a week. And we're going to show you this Energy Boom 101 special edition is to describe what's happening on Campus Corner, which you can see all around you. And uh, Brad and Apache is going to follow me. Shout out to the man who's running camera today. He's incredible. He and Peter Bogdanovich worked together for a while. Uh, we're going to spin this way, and we're going to start showing you how Campus Corner is in transition, a major transition. And this is the first inning, by the way. That's the old baseball metaphor. We use it every time. Walking over to what used to be a Sooner textbooks years ago, and what will sometime the next month or two months or three months be CVS Pharmacy, and they are coming in right here. Now, Branch, if you can, can we move in close enough for, for our viewing audience of 12 people to see what's inside here? Okay, I'm behind the camera now with Bratch. This is the narrative style to telling the story. This is going to be the CVS. They've occupied five storefronts just adjacent to Club 747 to the north. That's a significant investment in Campus Corner. Uh, this is what I call the boom wave of disruption number one. And we don't have any other clue. It's, oh, shit. We get the bells of boomy in the background. So I'm going, to, I'm going to quiet down a little bit so you can gently hear the bells of boom you in the background. What do you think of that? Continue the, continue the game here. Uh, so this is going to be CVS and then we're going to sort of swing across the street and I'm going to show you what is the next uh, boom wave of disruption. Even if the lighting isn't too good, we're still going to go there because you can still hear me talking. And as we cross the street here to check out the uh, uh, next boom wave of disruption, I'll give you a little update on the uh, global energy chess match that's going on. Uh, Vladimir Putin decided to cut off gas to Ukraine today, so that's breaking news for you. Not any big surprise. We're going to have to talk over the bells here because the bells of Boom U set the tone. And our lawyers told us that every time we hear the bells of Boom U, we have to say the phrase, ask for not whom they told. And then we try and trademark it, but then we won't. that would never hold up in court. But we're getting close to the second boom wave of disruption. This is where the earth was on Campus Corner. It is no longer here. By the way, folks, please go visit the earth. Lovely place on Flood Street. It's going to be a Hertz Donut out of Missouri a trendy boutique, might be tragically hip, might be cheesy, I don't know, but Hertz Donut is coming here probably in the next two or three months. This is the second boom wave of disruption. Um, as you listen to the bells of boom you in the background, we're now going to walk you to the third boom wave of disruption that is in the first inning of the campus corner transition. Uh, and we'll also give you a little update on uh, Vladdy Poo's little uh, chess, uh, chess hand there. I would call that one... Um, and I don't have a clue what I'm talking about, by the way, because uh, I don't understand chess any more than I understand uh, the energy game. So don't listen to me, folks, and don't watch this show, whatever you can do. But I would say uh, today's move by uh, Vladimir to shut off gas to the Ukraine, it feels like a, uh, feels like a knight to bishop. So I'm going to call it that. Knight to bishop move today in the global energy chess match is that Vladimir Putin decided to cut off the gas to the Ukraine. Here we go. Get a shot of this. So this was the old Sunshine Store on Campus Corner. Everyone knows it. Boom U Campus Corner, the legendary Sunshine Store. They didn't pay their taxes. They got shut down, and the building has been gutted, and I'd be willing to make a wildcatter's bet right now and look like a huge fool that this will probably be raised to the ground, and you may see uh, Campus Corner's first high-rise residential right here sweeping, reaching, stretching, doing yoga, per se, to the top. Uh, let's do a quick spin. I want, I want the kids to see the deli. This is authentic Campus Corner Boom U right there, the deli, legendary spot, uh, which also to the left of it, Bratch, if you can show, is a empty lot that is being excavated because that's boom wave disruption number four right there. By the way, did you see that? Works every time in Vegas. Uh, that is going to be, a, um, I believe, a three-story building, and I think maybe the first floor is going to be a pizzeria. And then I think the second floor might be office space. Third floor might be residential. Uh, but that is your fourth boom wave of disruption. And I'm counting four waves of disruption within the last month here on Campus Corner, which is more than has happened in the last 10 years on Campus Corner. So we feel like we're capturing the field data 
you know, the evidence that would suggest what I already have as a bias, which is the boom is sweeping in. We just want to show you as it unfurls. Now, Brad, would you give me a time limit, please? We're at... Oh my God, we're at five minutes, folks. We have at least five more minutes where I can bore you to tears or possibly get you to commit suicide if that's possible. Uh, I know the last time I talked to the analysts on Wall Street, they wanted to make sure that our subscribers drop. It was at 18. Thank all of you that are out there watching this. I don't know why. Uh, last time I checked, it went down to 17. We think that maybe that one subscriber defected to the Chevy Chase show. But our goal is to get the subscribership all the way down to three, if we can do it. Uh, we're going to move. I think we're going to do, do a full loop, Bratch. Let's do a full loop. Let's get crazy. Let's swing around. Oh, by the way, another authentic Campus Corner Boom U spot. Campus TV, music and keys. Musical supplies, keys, you name it, they got it there. Legendary spot. I don't know how much longer it's going to be here, but it's a legendary spot. Coriander Cafe, by the way, if anyone wants to go get a really good meal, one of the best value plays on bon, Boom Use bon Campus me Corner. Bombs. The Bon Me Bomb is what Bratch is saying. That's the BBBB. Bratch is calling it the Bon Me Bomb. She's the BBMB. Uh, we're going to head this way and we're going to complete the full loop because all we really wanted to do was show you a few things. Number one, Campus Corner is clearly in transition. That's a no brainer. Uh, number two, we wanted to let you know about Vladimir Putin doing the, what did I call it, Night to Bishop? The Ukraine shutdown, Night to Bishop. Ukraine shut down, Night to Bishop, and number three, most importantly, a shameless promotion for this glorious rag that should get me sued within the next five minutes. We're going to give you a quick shot of it right here, and Brax will let me. I'm just going to give you a quick overview. This thing is going to hit the mean streets of Norman in the next week. There's the, there's the boom. Dispatch in the patch number two. It's got everything you ever wanted to know about nothing in here. Uh, there's the second page. Talks about the boom and bloom in downtown Norman. There's also a healthcare experiment editorial by Johnny Paycheck, of all people. He's a good guy. Um, there's also the green boom, because in case you missed it, there's a marijuana boom going on in the United States, which is sort of fun. Um, there's also, oh, this is a great little thing I call the fulcrum of faith, which lets you see this big, big bet on Wall Street uh, involving Herbalife between Bill Ackman's boys and then the rest of the world, Carl Icahn, George Soros, blah, blah, blah. We'll see who wins. I, I'm putting my money on Billy Ackman, but let's see. Uh, then we've also got the continuing uh, overview, the oversimplified overview of the U.S. energy boom. We talk about the trends, the bets the prize, we talk about the investment dollars, we talk about the stages of the plays, we even talk about the Oklahoma Energy Playas. Now some are players, these are Playas. Uh, let's see, oh, we even dedicate a page to Boom You right here, and guess what we cover? Campus Corner in first inning of profound transformation. You thought it was a transition? Wrong, it's a profound transformation. Uh, and here's my favorite, the Symphony of Shale. We're keeping up with Mr. McClendon. He's the guest conductor. The piece is called American Energy Partners in G-Sharp, $10 billion deep. We're tracking where all his money's going. We think he's going to knock it out of the park, but we don't know. And then finally, the global energy rainbow. We told you about Vladdy Poo today. This is a story about Vladdy Poo from a week ago. Huge, huge deal with China. We talk about Canada. Uh, we talk about a few other things. And then I think the final page is just sort of a rant and a ramble about nothing. Something about the power of the penny and the mind-body confection. Brought to you by the good folks at M&M's, Mind Body Confection. Mother Nature's original, Mind Body Confection. Uh, we're probably going to sign off. What, what, what kind of time we got going here? Eight and a half. I feel really good about shutting this down right about now. I think there was a lot of good concentrated information here. I think the value is...